All right, guys. Got a new car, new project, new daily slash track car. Nah, it's like. Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? So uh, here at Steve's place again. It's kind of it's kind of uh, the team shop now. Uh, in this video, if you uh, haven't, if you couldn't tell from the uh, uh, thumbnail and the title, we are going to be installing some rear lower control arms on the RSX, and they are right here from Hard Race. I've gotten a lot of a lot of stuff on this car I've gotten from Hard Race, but they're like right they're right here, so. Though with aluminum, they are lighter than the steel OEM ones, and I paid a little, a little extra for the pillow mount or the pillow ball joint instead of the the normal hardened rubber one. They mean spherical. So, is their name for spherical, basically, or oh. something like that? Um, yeah. So yeah, it's right here. The second one's in here. It comes with new hardware. Uh, FYI, I didn't know this until I found one nearby at, at an O'Reilly's, but you do need a special socket. I'll show you in a little bit, but the OEM bolts that for some reason the Honda does, it's like a, it's like a star pattern bolt. You need a 10.19 mil socket. I just so happened to find one at a uh, O'Reilly's near my parents, so I didn't have to order one online, so that's good. But yeah, so should be a fairly simple job. Um, you're just swapping out some parts. All right, guys, so over here, those right there are the bolts I was talking about. It's kind of dark under this car, so it's kind of hard to see, but there's three on this side and three on the other side. Hard Race does throw in new bolts to replace those with just normal six-point bolts. You'll have to reuse the bolt that is uh, going to the subframe. My specific bolts came with progress since they're a little longer. As far as I understand, it's a simple swap. Just unbolt, take off four bolts on each side, swap the part, and bolt them back in. We're gonna get started on that after, in a few minutes, because we did spray some penetrating fluid to help uh, get, to get these bolts loosened. That's the driver's side. They actually came out a lot simpler than we thought they would. All right, now we just need to decide which one is the uh, the right side, if there is. Unless they're like universal, I'm not sure if they are or not. No, I don't think so. The triangle pattern. So oh, the, true, yeah, the triangle. The tip points up. We're just switching the sticker right now because it's actually, the, the sticker was backwards. Um, it doesn't really matter to me, to be honest, but hey, whatever. So the triangle is pointing down on the other side? Yeah. See? Uh, Face. Oh, it is, yeah. Kind of bugs my OCD a little bit, okay. Yeah. The holes line up, it's just, it, it almost seems like you have to pull the hub away a little bit. Oh. There we go. There we go. Alright, guys, so. We did the driver's side. What we had to do, like putting it on was was pretty simple. Uh, but while Steve was doing these, I had to pull assembly, like kind of outwardy, outward like, because it was kind of angled in at the very slightest to where these were hard to get into the hole. But we got it in, uh, impacted them down. We're gonna look up torque specs later. It's looking pretty nice. That took all of five minutes. Yeah, it's actually, it, what are we saying? This is probably like the, Probably the easiest thing we've done suspension wise. Wow, that came off with no effort. Clean the mounting surface while you're here, because while you're in there. Alright, I'm ready. Too much.
I like how these new bolts match the uh, mounting bolt on the other side too. So everything is 19 now. Pretty much, yeah. So, well, it it already was just oh, just a, just, just a, a stupid star pattern bolt. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so these three outer ones on both sides are to 95 foot pounds. Just FYI, people. And then the mounting one to the subframe, that's the 43 foot pound. Nice. This one was already there. Nice. My rear end actually has a little bit of aesthetics to it now. But these are lighter, supposed to be, than the stock ones. Uh, supposed to be stronger. The uh, spherical pillow ball joints are have more a lot better articulation. It's a lot more uh, preferred for especially for track use. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this rear end is definitely coming together. It's not much left to do on the rear end per se, unless there's aftermarket trailing arms that I'm not aware of. And if there are no aftermarket trailing arms, then I'll just have to settle for bushings. If you're doing this, be sure to get an alignment. Pretty, uh, pretty si simple, self-explanatory install today. So yeah, catch us on the next one. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you, if you found this useful, uh, like the video, subscribe if you haven't, leave a comment if you want to, uh, follow Steve on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.